Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another video for you guys. Welcome to my morning motivation video. I have some the coldest water bottle here. What I'm having for breakfast today is a mixed berry great value yogurt. And this one is um, 140 calories for this little serving. Then I have me a spam sandwich. Something quick and easy. That's what I'm going to be eating. I have my coffee right here. I decided I wanted to eat breakfast today. And that's something that for some reason I have not been moving into breakfast at all. So I do have some breakfast here that I'm going to be eating today. And uh, let's say grace to get into this video. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me to live to see another brand new day. I thank you, God, for your grace and mercy that sustained me, that lifted me up off of my bed this morning. I thank you, Lord, that I'm alive and not going under the ground. I thank you for each and every member of my family, Lord. I thank you for my church, my pastor, all of my uh, sisters and brothers in Christ, my neighbors. I thank you for everybody, my subscribers and their families, God. And I ask that you bless us all today according to your will, grace, and your mercy. Lord, I ask that you bless this food and let it be a nourishment for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. And dear Heavenly Father, please let it be a help to my weight loss and not a hindrance. Take out any defilement. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. And Lord, order my steps in your word today and direct my path. Tame your tongue of mine. Lord, I ask that you let your anointing be in me today as I go forward and teach my Sunday school lesson. Give me your understanding. Give me knowledge of your word, God, so that I may be able to teach and spread your word according to your will, God. In the name of Jesus, amen. And I wanted to, let me see, I think I have a book here. I might just read out of this instead of looking for even the Bible. Yeah, let's just use this daily bread book as a motivation of today for scriptures uh i'm getting ready for church as you guys know don't look at my hair because i have not come and i'm not gonna be doing much to it but you know brushing it down and getting ready for church i do have my clothes for church laid out on the bed already um so today we're going to start at the very first day since this is a new book unless uh we're going to be coming from matthew's 18 verses 1 through 10 and uh do i got it i want to get the other bible and read it when we get ready to read it but i'm going to get ready to eat right now because i need to eat oh let me tell you how my night was actually last night i did not sleep so good i when i fell asleep i was asleep but i did not sleep so good because my back oh my god when I tell you guys my back was hurting me so bad, I did not sleep good at all. But I fell asleep late, so I really don't know when I fell asleep. Because I was in the bed so early. And I really don't know when I fell asleep, but I do know that my back was hurting so bad. And I have some gabapentin that I tried not to take because... Um, you know, my sister told me that those gabapentin cause you to have a lot of fluid on you, to swell up a lot. And I noticed it. I paid attention to it. And she was telling the truth. So I stopped taking that gabapentin. Now, I don't take it no more. So now I've been taking some ibuprofen. And I really don't take no pain medicine because I don't want to take Percocet. I do not want to take uh, Oxycodone. I do not want to take Tylenol full with codeine. I don't want to take that. It's my preference, so I don't need nobody coming on here telling me nothing. I'm not going to take no narcotics drugs unless I'm really sick in the hospital or something. It got to be a dire need. Or I got to be in the head of surgery or something. So what I do to keep my pain down and to numb the pain is I walk. I do it. That's why I do a lot of walking, guys. Exercising. I haven't had Spam in so long, so let's take a bite of this Spam sandwich. It ain't nothing on it, no mayonnaise, no nothing, just Spam and bread. Mm. 
So I did. I went to bed real early yesterday. Very early. I didn't do my evening workout because I was hurting so bad. But I did do a very nice workout in the morning and got my walk, my steps in. So my phone is over there, but my steps for yesterday, because I don't think I was posting them yesterday. It was 6,000 or something. Uh, I might post them today. The ones for yesterday I'm talking about. I found me some really good yoga that I like, and this is this. I like the flavor, and I like the taste of it. As I told y'all, I'm on the lifestyle change. I'm not, I don't consider myself on a diet. I consider myself doing a lifestyle change forever. Wanted to change the way I eat. I'm not saying that I'm not going to eat certain food. I'm not going to say that because that would be a lie. I'm going to continue to eat whatever I want. Just in moderation. Just the amount. It's supposed to rain all day today. I was going to wear some sandals today. I'm going to fill my cup up, my can up right quick. And I'm going to just drink out this bottle because I'm going to take my water can to church with me because I'll be so thirsty when I be standing up there teaching uh, Sunday school. So if y'all want the coldest water bottle, the coldest water bottle will be left in the description box down below. Use promo code GLOWGLOW1 and get yourself 15% uh, off your entire order. And they do have sales going on, guys, so you might want to go check them out, you know. But, uh, yeah, I be getting so thirsty when I be teaching Sunday school. I guess because I be talking, and I'm not normally a big, big talker. This is not actually spam. It's called lunch and meat in the can. I had spam, but I was looking at this. I wanted to get something that had a low sodium intake, intake so that's where I got this lunch and meat. I was looking at the Prince family, and they just received their diamond plaque in the mail. And you know that it's amazing. That is nothing but a gift from God. They got, you get a diamond plaque when you get 11,000 subscribers, 10,000. But now they actually got, 12, I mean, 10 million subscribers. They got 12 million. Mm-hmm. They are doing good. They are blessed, blessed, blessed. I wish everybody that want that kind of success on YouTube that kind of success. I don't want that kind of success. I would love for my channel to, I would love for my channel to get 10,000 subscribers. And I would be so happy, so, so content. But I wanted to reach the entire world when I do the motivation video. Because I am spreading the word of God. And that's what he told us to do. To go out and spread his good news, the gospel. And be a soul winner for him. I'm a fisherman for him. And I don't never stop fishing. I shall I say I'm a fisher woman. Like yesterday when I didn't do my exercise, guy, I felt so bad. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I woke up this morning thinking about it, but I don't work out before I go to church. I did it the one Sunday, but mm -mm. 
because I be tired when I get to doing a workout because I do the entire workout. I don't cheat. I don't, I don't fool myself. This breakfast is so good. I just really gonna be eating no breakfast, so. Yeah, I know I used to eat breakfast very regularly, every day, really. But now, sometimes when I wake up, I just want coffee. Uh, I get me a, a toast in the coffee, or some crackers in the coffee. I'm not into eggs anymore. Hmm. How's y'all weekend? How was everybody weekend? What did you guys do on the weekend? Friday, me and my pastor had to go to church. We attended church on Friday night. It was amazing. It was one of the bishops here, wife. They have appreciation for her. And I think it don't even actually until. Sunday is the last day for that service, but of course we have service at our own church. I hope my body don't hurt too bad today. It's supposed to be raining and thundering and stuff all throughout the morning. It's supposed to end in the morning. But my legs is feeling a little weird. Like I can feel the little hurt. Come here, Bill. Let's go ahead and start talking about this uh, verse of the day. Coming from Matthew 18, verses 1 through 10. Let's see if we pull that up and see what it's saying to us, guys. Matthew 18. Matthew 18, verses 1 through 10. In this particular uh, passage, um, I, is titled, Who is the Greatest? It say about this time, the disciples who came to Jesus and asked him, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, who would be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a child over and had the child stand near him. Then he said, I promise you this. If you don't change and become like a child, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. But if you are as humble as this child, you are the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And when you welcome one of these children because of me, you welcome me. It will be terrible for people who causes even one of my little fellows to sin. One of my little followers to sin. Those people would those people would be better off thrown into the deepest part of the ocean with a heavy stone tied around their necks. The world is in for trouble because of the way it causes people to sin. There will always be something to cause people to sin, but anyone who does this will be in for trouble. If your hand or your foot causes you to sin, chop it off and throw it away. You would be better off to go into life crippled or lame than to have two hands or two feet and to be thrown into the fire that never goes out. If your eye causes you to see him, poke it out and get rid of it. You will be better off to go into life with only one eye than to have two and be thrown 
into hell, into the fires of hell. 10 and 11, it says, don't be cruel to any of these little ones. I promise you that their angels are always with my father in heaven. And let me ask you this. What would you do if you had a hundred sheep and one of them wandered out? Would you leave the 99 on the hillside and go look for the one that had wandered away? I am sure that finding it would make you happier than having the 99 that never wandered out. So, this lesson started out telling us about who is the greatest, teaching us about who is the greatest and who is the least in heaven. The disciples wanted to know who is the greatest in heaven. And he told them, they showed them a child, the children are. And then he told them that if you offend one of these children, you offend me. He also told us that the children, angels are always with the Father in heaven. So, if one of the little children wander out and you got a hundred children, leave that hundred and go find that one. Also, he said that as long as there is a world, there is always going to be something in this world that tempts you to sin. We just have to refrain from sin. And we have to remember that we must be as humble as a child in order to make it to heaven. So, let me ask God right now, Father God, make me as humble as a child. Put within me a humble heart as a child. Humbling yourselves means that you got to prepare yourself. You're going to take a lot of stuff that you wouldn't take if you did if you wasn't as humble as a child. And I find myself humbling myself now. Taking stuff that I normally wouldn't take or putting up with if I was not being, if I was not saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, this memory verse read as thus. It's coming from Matthew 18, verse 10. It says, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angel in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. Don't offend the little children of God. The, and, and the inspiration says, let me tell you, ask the question of the day first. The question of the day says, who do you need to show compassion to this week? In what situation can you show childlike trust in your heavenly father? I just want to say we should ask God to always remind us, always remind us, always remind us that the Heavenly Father, to ask the Heavenly Father to love us, to let us love children as He loves them. And then even as we come to Him, we want to come with Him with trust and faith as a small child. Guys, y'all got to excuse me. I'm getting full. I'm telling you that now. So, yes, listen at this. It says, back at the police station, Officer Migolo slumped war warily against a wall. A domestic violent call had just consumed half his shift. In aftermath, left a boyfriend in custody, a young daughter in the emergency room, and a shaken mother wondering how it had to come to this. This call would wear on the young officer for a long time. Nothing you could do, Vic, said his sergeant sympathetically, but the words rang hollow. Some police officers seemed able to leave their work at work, not Mick Vigolo, not the tough cases like this one. Officer Migolo hard reflected the compassion of Jesus. Christ's disciples had just come to him with a question, who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? That's Matthew 18 and 1. 
calling a small child to him, he told his disciples, unless you change and become like the little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Then he gave a stern warning to anyone who would harm the child. In fact, children are so special to him that Jesus told, told us that there are angels in heaven I always see the face of my Father in heaven. How confident then that Christ's love for children is connected to his love for us all. That is why he invites us through childlike faith to become his sons and daughters of God. So and that's what this story boils up to. God invites us to come to him with childlike faith because he loves us, because we are his children. Every one of us are his children. Even the ones that don't want to accept him, that don't want to uh, be obedient to him, to obey him, to believe in him and to trust him. We are the children of God and we need to humble ourselves as children. That's all I have to say. That's my morning motivation. I got to get up and get ready for church. It just feel like one of these days where you just don't really don't feel like doing that. And I know that's simply because my back and my legs are hurting so bad. But I'm finna get up, get ready for church. My clothes is already laying on my bed. Y'all can't see, but you see that peak laying right back there? Wait, right there. That's my peach looking shirt, my skirt, my stockings, my underwear. Everything is laid out, so I'm going to get ready for church. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and remember to humble yourself as a little child so that you can make it into the kingdom of heaven and be with the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because God loves us. We are all his children, and he wants us to know. We all have been assigned to angel in heaven. So remember he said, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. If your hands and feet offend you, cut it out. Let's humble ourselves because as long as we are in this world, we are going to be tempted. And God does not tempt anyone, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Sunday. Bye.